Jeff Bezos versus Jack Ma. Who will reign supreme in the billionaire battle? Let's find out. Let's fight. Round 1. Cars. Jack Ma and Jeff Bezos, two of the wealthiest people in the world, have amassed impressive car collections. Jeff Bezos, the former Amazon CEO, shocked the world when he revealed that his first car was a 1997 Honda Accord, which he purchased for $17,990. Meanwhile, Jack Ma, the Alibaba founder, has a pretty extravagant collection. While Bezos might have started with a Honda Accord, he didn't stop there. He also owns a Lincoln MKT stretch limousine worth $50,000, which he uses for business and leisure. He even arrived on the set of Star Trek Beyond in this luxurious ride. And when he needs to hit the red carpet, he brings out his 2020 Cadillac Escalade, which starts at $79,490. Bezos also owns a 2018 Land Rover Range Rover, which starts at $87,350, and a 2018 Mercedes-Benz S450, which is his only luxury sedan. Despite being the cheapest model in the S-Class series, the Mercedes-Benz S450 still provides excellent value, with a starting price of $89,900. Meanwhile, Jack Ma's collection is a little more extravagant. He owns a limited edition Rowe RX-5 worth $15,000, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS worth $300,000, a Ferrari 599 GTO worth $385,000, and a Pagani Huayra worth $1.4 million. Ma is known to be a car enthusiast and even has a garage full of luxury cars that he regularly shows off on his social media. So, while Jeff Bezos might have started with a simple Honda Accord, his car collection has certainly grown to include some crazy rides, Jack Ma's collection is every car enthusiast's dream, filled with some of the world's most expensive and rarest cars. So this point goes to Jack Ma. Round 2. Properties When it comes to real estate, Jeff Bezos doesn't just have a home for each climate, he has a home for each and every one of us. Well, that is if we had $500 million to spend on real estate. From the sunny hills of Beverly to the rainy streets of Seattle to the dusty plains of West Texas, Bezos has a vast and varied real estate portfolio that's enough to make anyone green with envy. And that's not even counting the properties he may have divvied up with his ex-wife in their high-profile divorce. Let's take a tour through some of the properties that make up Bezos's $420 million real estate empire, shall we? Starting in the Big Apple, Bezos's most recent acquisition is a $16 million three-bedroom condo on the 20th floor of 212 Fifth Avenue. But wait, there's more! This is actually the fifth time he's purchased an entire floor in the 24-story building. In fact, he dropped a whopping $80 million on the 21st through 24th floors in 2019. And if that wasn't enough, he also scooped up a three-story, five-bedroom, five-and-a-half bathroom penthouse and the two-unit floor beneath it with plans to combine them into a single 17,000-square-foot mega condo. Talk about living the high life. But Bezos's real estate holdings aren't just confined to the East Coast. In sunny California, he owns a Beverly Hills estate once owned by Warner Brothers executive Jack Warner, which he reportedly bought for $24.5 million in 2007. And if you're a fan of the Hills, you might recognize his former mansion in the Trousdale Estates, which he sold for $37 million in 2019. Heading back up to the Pacific Northwest, Bezos has been a fixture in Seattle for decades, with Amazon's headquarters located there. He's owned a number of properties in the area, including a $10 million, 20,000 square foot mansion in Medina, a waterfront estate on Lake Washington that he bought for $28 million in 2004, and several other properties in the area. But it's not just the coast that Bezos is interested in. He also owns a 30,000-acre ranch in West Texas, which he bought in 2004 for $10 million. And if you're looking to get away from it all, Bezos also has a 417-foot superyacht, reportedly worth around $400 million, that he can retreat to. On the other hand, Jack Ma also has an impressive property portfolio. He bought Brandon Park for $23 million. This estate, located 30 miles from Lake Placid, boasts breathtaking forests and is home to majestic white-tailed deer. But let's be real, we all know that owning a property with your own private label maple syrup facility is the real flex. And Ma's no stranger to big purchases. He bought a $191 million house in Hong Kong's priciest neighborhood back in 2015 and added a 210-acre vineyard in the south of France to his collection a year later. 
Brandon Park was once part of a nature reserve established by Rockefeller, the OG co-founder of Standard Oil, and now it's part of the Adirondack Park, a protected area created in 1982 to safeguard water and timber resources, though it's worth noting that half of Adirondack Park is privately owned, which probably makes it easier for Jack Ma to keep adding to his impressive property collection. Jack Ma tried, but we have to look at the numbers, and with Bezos's properties it's even hard to keep count. So another point for Jeff Bezos. Round 3. Watches When it comes to watches, Jeff Bezos and Jack Ma have really different tastes. Bezos, the Amazon founder, has a collection that includes the Ulysses Narden Dual Time, which costs $12,900, and a custom-made Blue Origin version estimated to be worth around $20,000. On the other hand, Jack Ma's go-to watch is a Carl F. Buckerer, which may not be as flashy as other mainstream brands but still has a respectable price tag of $5,000 to $10,000. While Bezos's watches may add up to a higher price point, it just goes to show that personal taste can't always be measured by the price tag. After all, it's not just about the watch you wear, but how you wear it and how much money you make from selling stuff online. But still, the point goes to Jeff Bezos. Round 4. Yachts On one hand, we have Ma's 88-meter feedship superyacht, Zen, which reportedly cost around $205 million US dollars. According to numerous media reports, Ma has been spotted cruising around the Balearic Islands in Spain aboard this luxurious vessel, enjoying the sun, sea, and presumably some serious relaxing time. On the other hand, we have Bezos's yacht, Koru, previously known as Y721, which is a staggering 417 feet long and has three massive masts that tower 230 feet in the air. That's about half the size of the Washington Monument in D.C. This floating palace reportedly cost Bezos a mind-blowing $485 million USD, making it one of the most expensive yachts in the world. So, who wins the Battle of the Yachts? It's hard to say. Both of these billionaires have clearly spared no expense in building their extravagant seafaring vessels. But looking at the price tag, Bezos surely takes this point. Round 5. Business Jeff Bezos is the mastermind behind Amazon, the e-commerce giant that has revolutionized the way we shop. He started the company back in 1994, when the internet was still in its infancy and has since built it into a behemoth with a market capitalization of over $1 trillion. Bezos's net worth is largely tied to his Amazon shares, which he still owns 11% of, and he's known for his generous philanthropy, regularly donating to causes like cancer research and climate change. Jack Ma, on the other hand, is the founder of Alibaba Group, a Chinese conglomerate that includes several popular websites like the business-to-business -business marketplace Alibaba.com and the shopping site Taobao.com. While Amazon dominates in the Western world, Alibaba is the king of e-commerce in China, with a market capitalization of over 213.5 billion US dollars. Ma's net worth is also largely tied to his Alibaba shares, and he's known for his colorful personality and inspirational speeches. Bezos has focused on dominating the Western e-commerce market with Amazon, while Ma has conquered the Chinese market with Alibaba, and both have made billions. But with Amazon's worth being even higher than a trillion USD, Jeff Bezos wins another point. Before we move on to the final round, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like, comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe to Billionaire Battle and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming showdowns. Final round. What is the value plus income? It's no secret that Jeff Bezos and Jack Ma are both filthy rich, but let's take a closer look at the numbers, shall we? Jeff Bezos has a net worth of $130 billion, which is more than the GDP of some small countries. To put it into perspective, that's enough money to buy approximately 65 million of the latest iPhone models, and his annual earnings are also jaw-dropping, $5.2 billion. That's enough money to buy a private island every year and still have some change left over for a luxury yacht or two. On the other hand, Jack Ma's yearly income is a humble $4 billion. Okay, not really humble, but compared to Bezos it is. But he still has a net worth of $28.8 billion, which is more than we can earn in our lifetimes, collectively. After a pretty tight battle between Jeff Bezos and Jack Ma, we finally have a winner, Jeff Bezos. So, let's give a round of applause to the man who's built an empire by delivering everything from books to underpants for our hands straight to our doorsteps.